it was really only a matter of time before quantum batteries became real, and now they are here. This breakthrough unlocks incredible possibilities. The insane speeds of quantum computers, combined with artificial intelligence models, are helping scientists discover new materials we never could have found without these super-fast, super-powerful computers machines that can even perform a degree of thinking on their own. In a modest industrial park outside Vancouver, British Columbia, a technological marvel is quietly sending ripples across the globe. What began as a small research initiative by a group of Canadian physicists has transformed into what many are calling the most significant energy breakthrough of the 21st century, the quantum battery. Still largely under the public radar, this innovation has sent shockwaves through the fossil fuel industry, rattled financial markets, and triggered internal crises within oil-rich nations and conglomerates. Once thought to be purely theoretical, the quantum battery is now a tangible working prototype. Unlike traditional batteries, which store energy chemically, the quantum battery uses the peculiar properties of quantum mechanics to store and release energy almost instantaneously, with minimal degradation over time. This means means faster charging, higher efficiency, and virtually limitless recharge cycles. In essence, energy can now be stored and retrieved with unprecedented speed and reliability at a fraction of the cost and environmental toll of today's lithium-ion systems. The implications are monumental. Imagine a world where your electric car charges in seconds, where solar panels can store power efficiently through the night, and where compact, durable energy storage systems stabilize entire city grids. The barriers that have long prevented renewable energy from outcompeting fossil fuel storage limitations, infrastructure costs, and intermittency are beginning to crumble. Behind this breakthrough is a startup called Aeon Energy. Founded by a tight-knit team of physicists and engineers formerly affiliated with the University of British Columbia, the company began with modest funding from Canadian innovation grants. What it lacked in capital, it more than made up for in scientific ingenuity. AON recently completed a series of successful demonstrations using its early-stage quantum battery to power electric vehicles and grid systems with astonishing efficiency. As one physicist explained, we need a super battery. And where will it come from? Likely from quantum computers. Quantum computers can model quantum processes. Batteries aren't digital, they're chemical reactions. Traditionally, breakthroughs came through luck and hard work in labs. But with quantum computing, we can roll the dice with precision and perhaps create the super battery that works even when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. Two technologies, he argued, could save us from global warming, fusion power and quantum batteries. But word has gotten out and powerful interests are not pleased. Through leaked internal emails from anonymous whistleblowers within the oil industry, it has been revealed that executives at major oil companies have been holding emergency meetings in response to Aon Energy's rise. One memo dated June 17, 2025, from a senior VP at a US-based oil conglomerate read, if this tech scales, we're not looking at gradual disruption. We're looking at a terminal event for oil. Another email from an OPEC policy advisor stated bluntly, the end of our leverage is in sight. Wall Street has noticed too. In late August 2025, energy sector stocks saw a sudden dip, while green technology indexes surged by nearly 20%. Analysts soon pieced together what institutional investors already knew. Aon Energy had quietly secured patents for its quantum battery and begun negotiations with major automakers and utility companies. The cat was out of the bag. Governments are watching as well. Canada's Federal Innovation Minister called the discovery the most consequential clean energy development in our country's history and hinted at measures to protect the intellectual property from foreign acquisition. The U.S. Department of Energy has reached out to AON for partnership discussions, while the European Union is considering emergency subsidies to accelerate quantum battery research across member states. The geopolitical implications are enormous. OPEC nations, whose economies depend on oil exports, now face the threat of collapsing demand. Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 diversification plans are under new pressure, and Russia has reportedly stepped up surveillance and cyber activity targeting clean tech firms in North America and Europe. For everyday citizens, however, the stakes are more practical. The quantum battery could make true energy independence possible not just for nations, but for individuals.
Aeon Energy itself has been cautious, avoiding the media spotlight while scaling prototypes and forging partnerships with ethical stakeholders. In a rare public statement, CEO Dr. Leela Curie said, We understand the magnitude of what we've built. Our mission is to ensure this technology benefits humanity, not just shareholders. Transparency, sustainability and fairness must guide our path forward. Still, threats are mounting. Industry insiders claim private equity firms tied to fossil fuel interests have attempted backdoor acquisitions of AON. Cybersecurity firms have traced hacking attempts back to state-linked actors. Rumors even of surveillance drones near AON's testing sites are spreading. Despite risks, excitement is building. A viral video of a prototype quantum battery charging a car in under a minute has racked up tens of millions of views. A petition urging governments to fast-track approval of quantum energy infrastructure has gained over a million signatures in days. Environmentalists hail it as the long-awaited breakthrough needed to meet global climate targets. The Paris Agreement's 1.5 degrees Celsius goal, once thought nearly impossible, suddenly feels within reach. But skeptics remain. Some warn against overhyping early-stage tech that could stall or face cost overrun. Others question whether quantum batteries can be manufactured sustainably at scale or whether they will create new dependencies on rare materials. Even so, most independent researchers agree the science is sound. Dr. Matteo Reiki, a quantum physicist at the University of Geneva, remarked, This is not hype. It's real. We are witnessing the dawn of a new energy paradigm. As Aeon Energy pushes toward commercialization, the next 12 to 24 months will be critical. Will governments embrace the disruption or cave to fossil fuel lobbies? Will new economic models cushion the blow for oil-dependent regions? Or will inequality widen between early adopters and laggards? One thing is certain, the age of oil, long propped up by geopolitics and lack of alternatives, is now facing its most formidable challenger yet. Backdoor acquisitions of AON. Cybersecurity firms have traced hacking attempts back to state-linked actors. Rumors even of surveillance drones near AON's testing sites are spreading. Despite risks, excitement is building. A viral video of a prototype quantum battery charging a car in under a minute has racked up tens of millions of views. A petition urging governments to fast-track approval of quantum energy infrastructure has gained over a million signatures in days. Environmentalists hail it as the long-awaited breakthrough needed to meet global climate targets. The Paris Agreement's 1.5 degrees Celsius goal, once thought nearly impossible, suddenly feels within reach. But skeptics remain.